having listed in very broad outline, admittedly, um, the threats um, in operations that, that we have to consider, that we have to uh, protect against. Um, well, you know, theft, we've, we've talked about conversion to personal use, wonderful uh, term, um, tangentially mentioned, uh, things like people using your resources, such as networking and telecommunications, um, uh, breaking into your computer, not necessarily to use any of your information, um, but simply to have a website or point of contact um, uh, that they can use. Um, and, and, I mean, we've talked um, in telecommunications about, uh, you know, things like uh, building themselves their own supercomputer by stealing time off all kinds of uh, computers by... Uh, you know, distributed denial of service attack, you know, distributed computing in a variety of forms for criminal intent. Uh, so, you know, even if you just run a, a paint company and you are simply reselling and you have no trade secrets, you do not have the formula for the colors from the vendors that you are buying from, um, the only thing you've got of value is... Uh, your customer base and nobody's really particularly interested in that. Even so, uh, the fact that they have been able to break into your computer and can use your computing resources, uh, well, it's, it's something that they can use. And uh, in, a, in a variety of ways. So, uh, you know, just assume you are a target because everybody is a target these days. So, um, other resources, software licenses. Uh, sometimes, you know, they, they will get in and, and uh, get your, uh, you know, the, the license uh, for the software, commercial software uh, that you have got. Sometimes the operating system, sometimes other forms of uh, business software, whatever. Um, and that has value. So they can steal that. Um, but uh, moving on from those kinds of threats, um, let's look at vulnerabilities. And um, so what is at risk? You know, we've covered what, what people are going to try and do to you. Uh, what what is vulnerable? What is uh, at risk? Um, and again, you know, what do we need to protect against? How do we need to protect because of these vulnerabilities? So, um, your your data center, right off the top. Well, I've already mentioned that. You know, your uh, computing resources, your storage, your uh, networking capabilities. All of these things are, are resources that other people can use. And so even if you don't think that you, you know, are yourself storing particularly sensitive information, uh, particularly confidential information, you have uh, compartmentalized off the uh, customer data so you don't have privacy and negligence and liability issues associated with that, fine. <coughs> they still may want to just get at your computing resources and use them. So, you know, there is, a, you know, a, a vulnerability, a, you know, uh, an asset that may be attacked. So, um, uh, devices, um, address notifications for your devices. Where is the device? Um, is the device working? Is the device working even though the person who owns it is supposed to be on holiday? What's more, we know he's in holiday on Barbados, so 
why is this device uh, active in Ontario? Um, stuff like that. Uh, we, uh, you know, if we do deal with um, uh, sensitive information, confidential information, uh, well, you know, what, sensitive of whatever sort, um, even if we ourselves have generated a report, have done some processing, have requested, legitimately requested uh, that our system produces some kind of output, somebody can try and reroute that output, um, send it instead of our own office printer, uh, send it on to a different printer. And of course, since everybody's using networked everything these days, um, you know, th this can be, uh, you know, a network attached printer in their location or at a location which is accessible to them at any rate. And so we have legitimately produced a report, a report which we want, but it's not going to come to us. It's, it's going to come someplace else where they can go and pick it up. And of course, you know, and just read the information, read our nice formatted report. Um, uh, and again, we've talked about um, escalating attacks um, where uh, somebody uh, gets into a system and then increases their, um, their control over the system, their access to the system. And again, you know, our systems, our data center, our network, our, uh, well, systems in general, um, can be used as an attacking point for a company for which we are the supplier or for which we are a contractor. And therefore, because we are a, a trusted agent our systems are trusted by their systems and therefore we, our systems, our machines, our data center can be used as an attack to escalate uh, penetration into their systems. And once again, uh, you know, something that we have to protect against, um, you know, definitely a uh, a situation in, in which we could be extremely liable as, you know, being the pathway to break into uh, their system um, when they're dealing with much more sensitive information than we are. So you always have to think about the sort of knock-on effects. You know, it's not just you it's who do you deal with? You know, the good old uh, thing about sexual transmitted diseases that, you know, when uh, you are having a sexual encounter with somebody, uh, you are having that sexual encounter with them and everybody else that they have ever, ever had sex with. So, you know, it's the same with networking and business, uh, you know, particularly networking access control, authentication, authorization, ours can be used against them.